Welcome back to the show, peoples. As you guys know, I'm doing reply episodes. So basically, if you have wrote a comment recently, like in the last month or two, I'm probably doing a video response to it, okay? So let's get down to it. This is, uh, I guess they're, they're in top to bottom order here. So two days ago, viral DR username says, Shimmy, whatever happened to your podcast? I thought your ass was in a Dominican jail. I did an episode a while ago about not hiding my past from people. Yes, I've been to jail, and yes, I've been to jail in Dominican Republic before. A few times, actually. It's a very interesting country with, a, I would say, a corrupt, legal, police, judicial system or whatever. Um, Dominican Republic, the first time I went to jail, I went to jail for running a red light in a really bad neighborhood called, uh, or is this actually down the hill from Sisua? There's a neighborhood called Sisua Abajo, meaning Lower Sisua, past Cheramicos. And uh, there's really not many stoplights in uh, Dominican Republic in general on the North Coast, but I'm there in my, my little Volkswagen convertible. It's like early 10 o'clock in the morning. Get up to a stoplight, I stop, I wait, I look around, and I go because this is basically a second slash third world country where if you sit at a stoplight, niggas will come up to your car, start trying to scrub your window, beg you for change, stick their hand in the window, come with a gack, whatever, and try to jack you, especially if you're in an open top car Volkswagen convertible like myself. So in Dominican Republic and other mostly Latin Spanish countries, it's not a good idea to sit at a light outside of a tourist area because your ass is a target, right? So anyway, this turned out to be like a trap or whatever. There was a cop waiting behind a bunch of tires at a tire shop, a Gomero as they call it in Spanish. And he walks out of the middle of the road and stop. And you know, I couldn't pay him off or whatever and I had to go to jail. So that's how you go to jail in Dominican Republic. There's no, uh, unless you're a visiting tourist, you might be able to pay them off or bribe you. But but if you they find out that you live there, you have a house there, you have an apartment there, you have a car registered there and all this shit, you're basically a resident or whatever, there's really no, there's no way out of that shit. You're going to jail or whatever and your car's going to get impounded or whatever too. Now it won't cost like a whole lot to get it out or whatever, but that's just how the system rolls there, okay? It's like, I can't really explain it to you, maybe since you're a Dominican person, Mr. Viral DR or Mrs. Viral DR, your username, I don't know, go ask somebody else. But uh, I do know that I'm not in a Dominican jail right now, no. And for those of you that are wondering, the other time I went to jail for distribution of pornography, wow. Even though it's in playing in every Cabanian hotel in the goddamn country, and it's not even in the Constitution, actually, that pornography is illegal, actually. But, you know, if they want to shake you down and raid your house and steal all your shit and fuck you over, that's what they'll do. And that's exactly what they did or whatever. So, they have like a de facto de jure legal system in Dominican Republic. And if you live there, I'm pretty sure you're aware of this. I'm pretty sure you're aware of shakedowns and payoffs and bribes. And these guys are getting all kinds of... Uh, just Google Policia Nacional in Dominican Republic and tell me what you come up with. Maybe I'll do an episode about this or whatever, but that is what it is. See, and I really want to get in this nigga, right? Because a lot of people, they try to shame me about that shit. Oh, well, you went to jail. Oh, well, so the fuck what? A lot of people went to jail. Martin Luther King went to jail. Jesus fucking Christ went to jail. And Shimmy Cash went to jail. You know what I'm saying? No big fucking deal. I'm non-violent, I ain't hurt nobody, I don't steal from people, etc, etc, so what is going to be? I got nothing to lose, nigga, we're all, we're all alive on the same planet, monkeys walking the planet, monkeys roaming the earth, so whatever. Toticos.com, motherfucker. Okay, next comment on the internet here. Uh, what does this nigga say? Something, this is a RE video. ML3, three days ago, username M3, M3L. Do you have the uncut versions of Raina, Raina, a model, native girl? Kinda hated the fade out in the doggy part. Man, why are you gonna ask me this shit on YouTube? Go ask that on the adult channel, on my sites or X video or something, just not here, please, fuck. 
this is not the place for that. This is my personal channel. If you have porn questions, ask it on the porn site thing. Likewise. Uh, and by the way, for Dude Above, uh, whatever happened to my podcast, The Shimmy Show, as in www.theshimmyshow.com, go look it up on archive.org. This has been going on for more than 20 years. Shimmy Cash, this channel, YouTube, ain't nothing new. I've been doing this shit since I had a little MP3 sound recorder in my pocket fucking 20 years ago. There's shows showing you my travels, grinds, adventures, mostly audio podcasts or whatever, but um, you know what I'm saying? It's been around for a while. I've been talking to the microphone, fighting social, as they say in Thailand, for a really long time. Yeah. And I'm trying to get away from the whole fighting social thing. I don't know if I ever explained this to you guys. This is a 30 second segue here into a story here. I'm in Thailand one time. It's like maybe three years ago, right? girlfriend of mine sees me doing this show, this podcast shit as I'm doing right now, like talking to my laptop at the time or whatever. And I look kind of riled up and fired up and you know, and for someone that doesn't speak 100% English, it just looks like I'm arguing with my phone or computer or something. So she walks by it's early in the morning. She's like making some tea or something. She's got a, she's got a little fucking cup or whatever. And she says, mm, Jimmy, mm, what you doing? And she goes, oh, you fighting social. And she putters off or whatever and makes some tea for me. So I realize I shouldn't be fighting social so much. But it seems like most of the comments here, it seems like I'm on the... I'm on the reverse offensive, whatever that's called. I'm like retaliating or responding because it's like nobody ever, very few people have like pleasant comments, non-hostile, non-aggressive. It's always, you ought to do this and you ought to do that and what you need to do and you doing this wrong, etc. That's why it seems or appears like I'm arguing with people on the channel. You know, chan you know, if I just had a fucking happy channel where I just fucking did did a fucking little jig and hopped around and shit, it would probably get a million views and subscribers and people I understand in general they like happy people. They like happy vibes and generally I am happy. You know, but it seems like I, you guys just keep throwing shit at me like and I got to keep swatting it down on the defensive. Rah, motherfuckers. So whatever. I hope to evolve this channel to like just a happy channel one day in a happy place in a happy space just like where I am here. You know where I could just fucking do handstands and cartwheels and shit and run around while a drone follows me in the sky or something and ride my motorcycles etc. That's what would be, that's what I'd like to do and that's what I see the future of this channel being. But in the meantime since it's cold and snowy and icy outside, I'm going to deal with you motherfuckers who just want to write knuckleheaded comments most of the time. You know, it's, you know, but keep them coming. Please do keep them coming because it gives me fuel to... I like to see what people think about me or whatever. But in general, I'm, I mean, I'm pretty happy as is right now. Whatever. So, I'm done. Okay, next comment. Uh, let's see, Margaret Godwin, if you guys don't know, that's my mama. She's on a lot of the, she comments on a lot of the videos. Thank you, mama, for watching the show. Hello from Shimmy Land. This must be like reading Rainbow to watch your son on YouTube or whatever, right? You know, at least I'm not selling used telephones on Woot like some other people. <laughs> Failures. Okay, five days ago, mom's just like, yes, you were very young. Your mom's always, you're always amazing to your mama, but I'm reading the comment anyway. You're amazing, multi-talented, phenomenal, computer expert, web designer, videographer, multimedia, most importantly, number one dads to your sons, African-American, Native American mom, demographics in T-Bay, you are the minority. Those jobs as security jobs, drivers, unskilled jobs are mainly in the South. At least you tried various jobs to support your family in T-Bay. Put an alarm on your business. <laughs> Your kids have experienced racial profiling and discrimination too. Be yourself, you're highly blessed and favored. Thunder Bay is a small, lovely town located in northern Ontario. I'd only visit May to September. You're adventurous, my son. Absolutely brr, minus 40, come home, son. Hug my grandsons. Love you too, mama. So yeah, it's all good. Like I say, this is a family-friendly show and channel, etc. Okay, if you guys have other comments about porn movies and other non-related Unless I'm actually doing a video about it, let's just try to keep our comments to whatever shit's on there. You know, if I make a, make a video about fucking golf or running shoes or some shit like that, I don't expect you to be asking me about some girl scene or video. Go ask that on the appropriate forum or whatever, and I'll be happy to get back to you. You know what I'm saying? You just got to ask shit where 
it belongs. Get in where you fit in, like Too Short said, okay? All right. So, any comments about this? And by the way, this was a reply to a video I did last week called The Reality of Being Black in Canada, if you didn't catch that. So, all right. Mom touts me up as like some computer genius and shit and whatever. I'm just a webmaster, computer spammer, marketing guy that just likes to make money, Mom. Shit. What do you want me to... I'm not... A, I'm actually not that smart. It doesn't take a whole lot of fucking brains to make a website HTML and code it and make it look pretty. To make it sell and make money, that takes some brains, yes. But, I mean, it doesn't take a lot of... There's a lot of broke-ass, highly technical, nerdy motherfuckers that, you know, they can't make five cents if they had to independently. They have to go and work for somebody else, okay? I'm the kind of person where I can look at... I need to learn just the bare minimum nuts and bolts how to assemble this shit, and that's good enough for me, okay? I'll take that and run and capitalize off that. I don't, I'm not a high-level programmer, et cetera, et cetera. I've only taken entry-level coding and basic shit. Once I learn enough how to monetize it, I'm good, okay? Once you, this goes for any industry or anything you guys want to learn or whatever, actually. Once you learn enough how to get paid, there's no need to continue on your fucking education. By all means, go and get paid and do your thing and expand that. And if you feel like going up and getting to the next level of some shit after that, then by all means, go ahead. But don't forget your objective, which is probably to get fucking paid, etc. I don't know. That's my theory on it, at least. Mm -hmm. I am a college dropout, by the way. Most of my friends who are highly successful are also college or even high school dropouts. So I'm one of the few people who will say that school, etc., etc., may or may not be worth it in the especially in this uh oh i can't say the word the current times i don't even have a thing here actually mask thing so anyway all right so mm, yeah thunder bay i'm a minority yeah i'm in the like the five percent minority here whatever i'm always flying the buttermilk what the fuck ever um and or about this video though the security guard job thing is true worldwide almost if you, if you black i don't care if it's fucking usa canada colombia dominica i mean even countries where there's only a very few small amount of black people the default job you can get hired for like almost instantly is security guard everybody wants a black security guard i think for real or at least the darkest fucker they could find you know here they're